Hello again. My name is Dick Ensley. I'm a Tennessee artist. Today, what we did in the past, we built this up with just did a value sketch of it. Now we're going to build it up with color. So let's get started. Keep a nice brush here. Again, I'm using about a number six brush. This is number four, by the way. It's got long bristles on it. I'm using acrylic paints here. These paints, if you put a retarder in them, will last pretty much all day. Spray them every so often with an atomizer, and they'll last. Now, let's start out with the darkest colors first. Your darkest colors here, remember your light's coming from this direction, going there. So you got shadows, you got darks, middles, lights, and then you got your shadows down here. Let's start out with your darkest color. What's your darkest color? Basically this bluish purple. Take a blue, add a little bit of red to it. And here again, don't put your color right into it. Mix it a little bit. We're going, to, we're going to just basically make some nice washes here, okay? Take that color and just look for a big mass of color. Nice and dark, very rich. And remember, as it gets up closer to the light, it's going to get lighter. Now watch, add a little bit of white to it. Let's go into the middle values in this. Now back here it gets a little bit darker again. Now there's more colors than, than just the blue in there. There's purples, the red is casting, the apple's casting red sh shades. There's, there's all kinds of colors coming in there, but right now we're going to work basically local color. You'd be surprised how quickly your still life will come to life. Now, let's go into the next darkest color, which is the red. Here again, don't make it as dark as you see it right away. Add yeah, just a little bit. We'll make it a little less dark by adding just a little bit of the yellowish orange into it. Just a little bit. Okay. Let's get a little bit more water. We'll make a nice little wash here. See, these acrylics will go right over what we did. Okay. Keep your brush clean. Go with a little more reddish color right here. Now look at it as it hits the light here. It gets the beautiful red, but then it gets a little orangey. See how it's got a nice orangey cast to it. See it? Much brighter. Let's add a little bit of water to it, get that to flow a little better. Okay. Let's go a little bit deeper red here, which is the next value down. A little bit right in here. Now with these acrylics, later on you can build it up with paint, just like your paint. Right now we're just putting washes in, we're putting, getting the values straightened out. But you can have a lot of fun with these stages. Look at this. Let's go into the next color here, which is a little light, very light blue. Take a little, little water into the color. We already have the blue here. Let's just go a little lighter now. Yeah, oops, let's go a little bit lighter here. There you go. Okay, look at that shadow it's cast. Shadows cast, is, if a red apple will cast a shadow of its complement, it'll be a greenish or a grayish color. The blue will cast an orange shadow. It'll cast its complement. But it'll mix with whatever it's, it's casting the shadow on. A little orange, a little bluish. Add some white to it. We're going to put the shadow right in through here. <clears throat> some more white here. Got a little bit of greenish cast to do. I think it's coming from that apple right there. It's a little bit of green, not much. Okay, now let's go to the light, the middle colors on the apple, which is barely kind of a greenish cast to it. Basically local color. A little bit of water with it, not much. Look how quickly that's looking like an apple. As you get towards closer to the light, it gets much warmer. There's just a little bit of yellow in it. Okay. Now that apple is casting basically a greenish shadow. Now remember when the, the, the complement of red is green and the two mix, it makes kind of a grayish green. 
okay so it's just a little bit here and just a little bit of red with it a little white maybe a little cooler green here I see also a lot of bluish and some of this, some of this is re, what we call refracted light the blue from the from the grapes just a little bit here okay now let's add a little bit of white to that to the cloth the cloth is kind of a yellowish kind of a warm color it may have a little little tiny bit of orange a very little bit a little bit just warm color that comes across here okay we're going to paint that in watch when I put just straight white right on top of this you go right over that a little bit a little specks of light right in here You see, if you play with it too much, so it's going to turn gray. So just put your color in and leave it. Now, let's just put a couple highlights on the grapes. We're going to leave it. Now, the, the highlight isn't just an, a white. It's kind of got a bluish white. You don't do every grape. Just enough. Now, you got a little bit of a highlight right here on the, uh, on the apple. A little white mixed with a little bit of yellow, maybe. Yeah, this is a little bit lighter. <coughs> okay. <coughs> See how much fun you can have with just a little bit of color? Uh, let this dry, and later on, what we're going to do, we're going to add pastels to this. We're going to build it up even more. And again, thank you for visiting us. Visit me at my website, www.dickensingartist.com. Or write me at dickensing at bellsouth.net. Thanks again for joining us.